The emotions have caught up to me. I had a huge cry and I went on a walk to get gelato. Before I started my travels, I asked a lot of people for advice. Do you think that this is a good idea? Should I not sell my car? What if I fail and run out of money? I scoured the internet for every travel tip known to existence and planned everything I could actually plan so that if anyone said, wow, what are you gonna do while you travel? I would have a memorized step-by-step -step execution plan ready for them. But I don't have a plan. I don't know what I'm doing. I had a huge cry and I went on a walk to get gelato. Someone recommended I make an intention for my trip to Mexico City. I chose the word creativity. I intend to create. Create what? Create art. What art? Art that makes you think. Think what? Think about where you are. Where are you? Mexico City. Why? Because I wanted to travel. Why? Because I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Why? Because today I had a huge cry and I went on a walk to get gelato. Well, isn't that the point? Here's the update. My family decided to come visit me for Thanksgiving. And so naturally, the very first thing we had to do when they arrived is to go get tacos. Our favorite activity by far was to eat food. So for about five days, all we did was eat food and I didn't record any of it. But what I did record was when we started our adventure to go to Taxco El Pueblo Mágico located in Guerrero, Mexico. It's roughly a two and a half hour drive south of the city. And as you leave, you get to see that it's surrounded by volcanoes, hundreds of them, which explains the topography. It's extremely mountainous and extremely luscious and beautiful and green. Now, Taxco is a special town because it's also called El Pueblo Mágico. It's one of the 132 magical villages in Mexico. They're recognized by the Mexican government for their legends and rich history and astonishing beauty, which is why there are laws that protect the historical architecture. So you're not allowed to make any changes to the buildings at all. Before the Spanish arrived, this town was actually one of the most important indigenous communities because it's where the Aztec governor presided. And they're also really well known for their mining and their silver. But the mining actually began in pre-Hispanic times when the natives would collect different types of stones for decorative and ceremonial purposes. But once the Spaniards invaded and they found out about the rich resources of silver, Hernán Cortés immediately started building right on top of the ruins.
probably going to be a super rough transition because I have no idea how to go from the topic of civilizations and Native American communities being absolutely destroyed by the Spanish and the colonization of the Central and South American countries and North American basically everywhere. It's, you can't just brush over the topic and not talk about the seriousness of it. I hope you understand how these cities were built, why there is such a Christian and Catholic influence in the world. And on that note. Good morning. Um, we're gonna try to take a shower. See, I'm sitting on the bed. That right there is the shower. <laughs> Why is it in the corner of the room? I don't know. Is it gonna splash onto the bed? I don't know, but I figured it would be really funny to show you how it is to shower in my new Airbnb. So. is actually so warm today. We have about a high of 75, which means that I think I'm gonna wear a dress today. I don't have a dresser or a closet here, so we're living out of the suitcase and these little packing cubes have saved my life. If anyone has advice on how to live from a suitcase, let me know in the comments because I'm not used to it. Um, I have like all of my things stuffed under this desk here. Oh. You can't even see. You can't even see. It's fine. It's totally fine. Let's get dressed. We're going to a market today with our friend Jess, so you'll get to meet her, and uh, hopefully we'll get some fresh produce so we can start cooking a little bit more. I've been really... I brought this Shea Moisture Leave-In Conditioner with me. It's actually in a little spray bottle, which I really like because I can just kind of get it everywhere. Um, another product that I've really been liking to use lately is this argan oil that I got here. It was super cheap. Um, they had like the regular name brand brands. This one was like $3, so much cheaper and the exact same thing rather than buying an American brand, you know? I'm gonna speed this up and get ready because I'm actually running late to go meet my friend Jess. Qué rico. Tres cebollitas, tomate, tomatillos, ¿qué le meto? Dos cincuenta. Setenta. A ver. Dos kilos, dos kilos, dos kilos cachetas. Sí. <risa> everything that I got from the market. We got cherry tomatoes, chicken, one plantain, two avocados, some Oaxacan cheese, four limes, and a piece of ginger. There's my ginger. And blue corn tortillas. My uh, Airbnb host made me breakfast. 
which is so sweet. So I'm gonna go get that to eat. I have a meeting in like half an hour, but I just wanted to show you guys. Mmm. I don't know what it is, but it's so good. Anyway, I think that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, I'm gonna make another one, so.